skiing's biggest showpiece returns to one of the world's most famous winter resorts. For a fourth time, the Ski World Championships have been underway in St. Moritz. We're flying over the race course of the Ski World Championships and beneath me is the mountain that will decide bronze, silver and gold. And this year, new stars were born. while others made a remarkable comeback. The most decorated skier in history, Lindsay Vonn, returned to racing after breaking her right arm last year. With her hand duct taped to the ski pole, she won the bronze medal in the downhill. It's definitely been a struggle. Really no training and, and hardly any self-confidence. It was hard to come here and, and really attack, but I did. And, and today, the bronze honestly feels like gold. This is probably one of the most meaningful medals of my career. It's the Swiss skiers who face the biggest pressure to win here, competing in front of their home fans and tennis superstar Roger Federer. I am passionate. I grew up watching it all the time when I was a kid in the living room, like I was watching Wimbledon finals. I was watching skiing on the weekends with the World Championships taking place in Sam Ritz. This was a thing I didn't want to miss. I don't know, we had the best day, so I'm happy we chose to come today. With Federer watching on, Switzerland's Beat Foitz met all expectations, going on to win the biggest race of them all, the men's downhill. 600 athletes from 77 countries competed at this year's World Championships, including, for the first time, two skiers from Afghanistan. I want to show uh, for uh, all the people of the countries that Afghanistan is not only war and uh, explosion. I want to show, tell them we want to build our country and they, they should support us in this way. Meanwhile, the high flyers held their nerve with the two leaders of the World Cup taking home the medals. Austria's Marcel Herscher with his fifth gold winning the giant slalom and US ski star Michaela Schifrin making history, becoming the first skier since 1939 to win three slalom gold medals back to back. You know, I think that the more people telling me about records or history or anything, I'm, I'm starting to realize that it's, it's amazing, especially for ski racing and in the US, it's really great for the sport, but today I wasn't thinking about that. I was just trying to ski fast. With a year to go to the Winter Olympic Games in South Korea, it's an early marker of the ones to watch. Christina McFarlane, CNN, Samaritz, Switzerland.